Every year, St. Patrick's Hospital Foundation hosts their annual fundraiser, Walk In My Shoes, by asking people to wear funky or mismatched shoes this Friday. Inspired by a 16-year-old boy in St. Patrick's University Hospital who wished his friends could walk in his shoes to understand what he was going through, Walk In My Shoes raises funds to provide mental health support, information and services to vulnerable young adults in Ireland. This fundraiser has many ambassadors, including Brent Pope, Alison Canavan, the original Rude Boys, and Adam Clayton from U2. I caught up with the rock superstar this week at this year's Walk In My Shoes launch as he chatted to me about the campaign. Adam, pleasure to meet you and thank you for your time today. Thank you. Uh, you're here to launch uh, an initiative that I know you're particularly passionate about, Walk In My Shoes. For any viewers who aren't aware of what this initiative is all about, maybe you'll tell us a little bit. Um, it's, it's primarily about increasing awareness and destigmatizing uh, mental health issues. Um, the reason I got involved was the statistic of people under the age of 24 that, that suffer from mental health problems is one in four, mm -hmm. which is for me that's like four croak parks which is it's a lot of people i i, I know what that looks like mm -hmm. and if if you if you seek treatment um 75 percent of those people will make a full recovery so it's that's the rock and roll audience for me that's yeah. the the people who come to our shows and they they have great potential they have great talent and to to lose the mental health issues and the high suicide rate that exists in this country is just deeply tragic. It's frightening, isn't yeah. it? On yeah. Ireland AM, we ran a mental health campaign last year, and the response was so huge that we've obviously followed it up with continued yeah. content around that subject. Um, the one thing that got me this morning, and you've just touched on it there, the number one cause of death in young men between 18 and 25 yeah. is suicide. Yeah. If there's a young man watching this morning, which I'm sure there are plenty of, and they're feeling quite vulnerable, what would you say to them, Adam? Well, certainly to, to seek help, and I know that's, uh, you know, the, the thing is, St. Patrick's runs a helpline. Yeah. Um, there are various nationwide uh, helplines available. That's the start, or talk to your GP, or whomever you can get information to get to the correct people. But, yeah. but do ask for help. Don't just sit with it and suffer in silence. Of course, there are other ambassadors who are here today, uh, Alison Canavan, Brent Pope, Ray Foley, but Brent Pope did say a nice line actually which I thought is quite effective. It's okay to put up your hand and say you're not okay. Yeah. I think that the thing about mental health issues is most people suffer from something at some point in their lives. Yeah. It's not like once you have it, it's incurable. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's just you need a bit of help. Yeah. You've been very honest yourself, Adam, and I know there's a fine line in, in the creative industry that, that you're based in, in, in show business as well, I suppose, between that creative genius and those darker moments or reliance on alcohol or substance. Um, when you've had those darker moments, you feel music has been your saviour. I, I think, I mean, I, I'm an alcoholic in recovery, so um, that's what I eventually discovered. But certainly in, in the early years, I found that music soothed those feelings mm -hmm. of, of, of inadequacy and discomfort. Um, and later on, uh, alcohol took over and I had to deal with that. You're very brave to just say that line. Is, is that hard for you to say? No, because f for me, uh, it was f from years of, of battling with something that I didn't know what it was. Uh, once I took out alcohol out of the equation, my life got better. Really? Okay, and you see that improvement? De m most definitely, yes. Yeah. Um, you two, just before we let you go, you're back in studio working on what I believe is your 13th studio album. Um, I, th I believe so, yeah. So you've it's, lost it's, count yourself? It's amazing to still be doing it. Um, you know, when, when we started out, you know, one or two, two albums was what we thought would be the norm. Um, but to still be doing it is, a, is an amazing privilege. And um, we're taking it very seriously. We don't want to put anything out until it's absolutely um, as good as it can be. And we're hoping to have it finished before the summer. Yeah. And do you think the dynamic between you is better than ever? You know, what's so amazing to me is everyone keeps getting better, you know, and, and that's inspiring. You know, it's a reason to keep going. Is it maturity, maybe? 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's a that's a two-edged word, but um, yeah, probably. We don't want you to grow up too much, though. <laughs> exactly. but keep doing what you're doing, and thank you very much for talking to us today, thank Adam. You. Thank you. Now, if you need to talk or want to support this campaign, log on to www.walkinmyshoes.ie.